Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, today I'm checking out one simple question shows down confused feminists. Oh, guys, let's get straight into this. Hello, uh, what would you say to feminists, specifically those I think you would consider biological women who are in support of trans women being able to access historically women's spaces like uh, female bathrooms and uh, being able to participate in women's sports? Okay, what would I say? Um, let me ask, are, are you one of those feminists? I am. Oh, okay, lucky guess. Um, so, yeah, uh, what is a woman? Uh, somebody who identifies as a woman. So can I become a woman? Do you have gender dysphoria? Thankfully, no. <laughs> then, then no. Oh, but, so only if you have gender dysphoria, you can identify as a woman? It's a medical condition. It's a medical yes. condition. So anyone at any time can become a woman? Uh, no. Because well, anyone could have gender dysphoria. It's, it's, you claim it upon yourself. I, I, you know what, I, I am, I'm actually thinking I might, I might actually have gender dysphoria. So can I become a well, woman? Well, I wish you the best in your transition, and I hope that society accepts you. So let me ask you a question. Um, what is cheating? What is cheating? Mm -hmm. I can pull up a dictionary definition. No, like give an example. Maybe taking something from somebody or a strong person, you know, maybe using their power against the weak. Sure. Somebody okay. using their power against the weak. Got it. Okay. Is Leah Thomas or William Thomas biologically stronger than the competitors that he, she was against? I don't, I don't, I'm not, uh, I don't know about sp that specific situation. Probably okay. because she is number one. Won the national title. Yes. Okay. Won, well, won after, the national title. after the transition, right? Okay. Is that fair? Yes. So the other women against the man were born with less bone density, lower testosterone levels. What are they supposed to do to make it even? I would not know on that specific situation. Right. So there's nothing they can do because men have more testosterone, muscle mass, and bone density. So wouldn't that be cheating? Hmm. I feel like I'm being pulled into a trap, and I'm going to step away. Well, no, it's not a trap. No, it's not. I mean, just one sec. I, I, it's a very simple moral question, right? So if someone is stronger and was born that way, is able to compete against people that are not as strong because they're born that way, wouldn't that be the textbook definition of cheating? I don't know about that one. I'm going to step away. Okay. Thank you. Can I ask you one more question, though? Yes. Okay. So, so you're a feminist, and you, you say anyone who has gender dysphoria can transition to become a woman at any time. That, that's, that's your position? Sure. Okay. Do you think chromosomes have anything to do with determining what a female is? Yes. Okay. So then where does the gender dysphoria come into place? I think that sex and gender are different things. Right. But then what is a woman? Somebody who identifies as a woman. So anyone can be a woman at any single time. You've asked me this question. It's still no. So what the Got fuck it. are you saying? And you're saying? a feminist? I am. So who are you trying to protect? Still true. What was that? Are, what women are you trying to protect? Women. All women. That you Rega can't, regardless that you can't of, define. Regardless of uh, whether or not they've transitioned. Whether or not they've transitioned. Yes. Well, um, I wish you well in the coming situation where now as a feminist you're going to have to live under the tyranny of men who think they're women. Thank you for being here tonight. Guys, this is annoying. Like, first of all, I will see, like, I believe that we all know, when you asked her the first question, who is a woman? She said anyone who identifies as a woman. Then he asked her, can any man be a woman or can anybody be a woman? And she said no. But it doesn't make sense because your first question indicates that anybody can actually be a woman because they ask you who is a woman. I say anyone who identifies. You do, like she said, identify. Like I don't really need, I don't think I have to Google it for anybody. Like I can say I identify as a woman now. So that, that doesn't make me a woman. Like it does not make sense. But like seriously, like I really don't know why, where we got it from or where people became stupid because I feel that is the right word to use. And I really don't understand why someone would be like, nah, I can just be a woman. See, I understand that there are some people, there are some men who actually act as a woman. 
Like I've seen those kind of people and I find it strange. Like I usually tell them to marry. Like she has features of a woman. I feel those people you still can I I don't I won't say those kind of people can still transition in the sense that you were created like that. That is up to you and God. And but you still have a dick. So like you saying, No, I want to change what God gave to me and I want to act semi God. Like it's stupid. It's stupid. Like most people who are transitioned who wish they can go back. Like it's 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 stupid to say. Like I feel just take your time, think about it, like think about it logically. Because if yeah, that questions like this are thrown at you, especially people like this who claim to be feminist, they can't answer it. Like they can't answer it. They just run away like Every time I've watched an interview like this or a question and answer section, they run away. Like they just can't deal with the question because they know that what they're doing does not have any valid point. Well, I tell you what you think about this guy. Then you should like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bless.